Hello, assalamu alaikum. Sonu yaya yo, ehi hiyoma. Aku dede wo yo. As Dr. Eus the sick, I renew minds and disgrace ignorance. My name is Yano Luwara, popularly known as Ara Otto. Your host on my cat. Surprise? My cat means my culture and tradition. As generally known that Nigeria comprises of over 250 ethnic groups with over 500 indigenous languages, in which Yoruba, Hausa, and Igbo are the major ethnic groups. If we'll be focusing on the major ethnic groups on culture and tradition, stay glued. This is the Switch TV. <laughs> Welcome back. As said earlier on, I will be revealing to you some important tradition and culture in Yoruba land. Today, we are focusing on Oshun Shobo. Why are we celebrating Oshun Shobo every year? Where is Oshun River source? Who is votary made? What qualifies votary made? In this segment, we are going to be giving you answers to these questions. Stay connected. Yeah, welcome once again. Thank you. I'm the monument officer in charge of this uh, sacred group. So the place we have, as you can see, is where this Oshobotan was uh, established in the year 1350 AD. Mm. So the founder of this place came all the way from Ipoli, Ipoli Jesha, very near to Ibokun here in Oshun State. And based on the legend, it was revealed that uh, those people, they had the problem of water, I mean drought, as at that point in time. That is why King Gola Roy sent one of his friends, I mean Oguti men, to search for somewhere where they can find the water during the dry season. Okay. So on his own team business, Oguti men discovered this uh, water, I mean ocean water, in a place called the uh, Lakoka. And later when he reached uh, the house, he refilled the situation of things to the king, and the king called the entire town and refilled the information to them, in which they decided to come down to this uh, place. So, as they are coming, their intention was that uh, they will stay at that uh, Lakokan, I mean, the first place where they discovered the river. But unfortunately for them, you know, one thing about Yoruba people in the olden days is that uh, whatever they want to attempt, they need to consult the oracle first. So when they now consult the oracle, oracle has them to move that when they get to where they're supposed to stay, they will perceive the sign. Mm -hmm. So when they go to where the main of Sunshine is down here, they perceive that sign and they were there for some time. Later, they have it in mind to prepare for farming for the other year. They now started clearing the bush along the line. One of the trees fell into the river. And the voice of the goddess now came out to them, called them Ushugu, Epeleo, Bubu Kokaru, Meleti Fortan. They were all shocked that uh, since when we have been here, we don't even perceive any sign of uh, living here. They now asked the woman to introduce herself, in which she did. And from there, they realized that uh, her name is uh, Oshun and she's the goddess in charge of this uh, river. Yeah. So they begged the woman, but the woman insisted that they should leave this compound totally and move to where they will not hear her voice again. And before they left, she made some promise with them that wherever they are, she will be with them so that the war or any form of problem will not disturb them. With that, they now made the vote with the woman. If she can do all what she promised, they will be coming here every year with the virgin lady that will come from the royal family. Mm -hmm. So she will be the one that will be carrying that calabash all the way from the town down to this uh, place and uh, in which we are still practicing up to today wow. that is the Aruba Ocean and from the name the woman called them that very day I mean Oshuibu mm. so we discovered the name for this town called Oshuibu today where we are today yes and also we discover the indigenous work of Oshuibu which is a uh, Thai and die and that is why people usually sing the song of uh, Oshuibu Iluaru mm. Iasala mm. and so on uh, other stuff uh, like that. Mm, thank you so much. Sir. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Yeah. Viewers, you've heard what he said already. Why are we celebrating Oshun Shogo every year? Where is the river source? Who is votary mate? What qualifies the votary mate? This is what we are hearing presently now. We are going to move around to show you more of the things you don't know and stay glued. This is the Switch TV. Welcome back. 
We will start our revealing from where we are standing here. Now. What is all about this, sir? So this house is called uh, Yemu's house. Okay. They name it after one of uh, Obatala's wife because of what she did based on the Yoruba race. And the structure was made by Mama Susan Venga, that Austrian woman. Before her arrival, it was this plant, we call it Kurigun, that was here. They let us realize how important is the entrance, particularly for the food we made during that uh, festival. Because when she's coming from the town with that uh, calabash, because of the most crowd that will be here on that day, she will not follow this uh, normal route. But she will take this path down to the main shrine, along with the Yao Shun, Awuro Shun, and some of the devotees, I mean, Oshun devotees, and the drummers. They will follow this path because the lady must not fall or eat her leg. Mm -hmm. That is the essence of having this uh, structure. And when we Ask Mama about the structure, how she, how the thing looks like. Mama said that uh, she made this uh, structure purposely to depict the waves of this uh, river, mm -hmm. I mean Ocean River. Mm -hmm. How the thing covered the entire southwestern Nigeria. Okay. Because the source is from Ikede Piti, mm -hmm. down to Ondo State, from Ondo to Ocean State, mm -hmm. from Ocean State to Oyo State, from Oyo State to Ogun State, mm -hmm. from Ogun State to the Atlantic. Uh, that is the river source. So, that is the river source. river source and okay. its movement. Okay. So, to show that we can cover the whole southwestern Nigeria. Good. Okay. Yeah. You can see the structure, how okay. the thing is made, okay. and how to do the, 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 the artistic uh, motif hmm. of those uh, artists are uh, maybe different. Yemo's house? Yes, Yemo's house. So, so, Yana Aruba. Yana Aruba. so when the um, Aruba is coming, yes, she yes. needs to pass Follow, through this yes. route, down to the shrine. shrine. Okay. Because there are some spots. Okay. And on this uh, part, we had the pay homage. Okay. But they even get to the strong. Oh, there is one important That's thing they need to do. As we are, do if you follow this part now, you will be seeing all this uh, go tree. Okay. The tree of life. Okay. Um, as they are getting there, the drama will be changing that beat mm. to praise all those uh, spirits. And mm -hmm. they are being, okay. So till when they will reach to the time. Right. Good. So that is Good. how the thing used to be. Good. As you are saying, this is the route for Aruba, in which they call it a votary maid. Why coming, she needs to pass through these routes down to the shrine. But there is an important thing to perform before reaching the, 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 the shrine, and that is um, Tree of Life where the drummers change the beat there are a lot of prophecy there are a lot of prayers saying just to gain the motive of every festival Here we have a 16 point lamp. Okay. At the Pali Jumani de Lugu. It's a festival or carnival on its own because every night day to that uh, festival, they got it from the spirit. I mean, this uh, the spirit here. Mm -hmm. And it was planned and instructed that every night day to the real festival, they must light this lamp with the cotton wool. And Before the, the festival? Yes. It's meant for cleansing, mm. to purify the environment. environment. So it is believed that all the smokes that will come out from that fire will send away all the evil spirit that will be around mm. at that point in time. Cool. That is the essence of having that uh, Atuma. Atuma. So Here is the entrance to the Oshun courtyard. So the first settlement in Oshobo. Okay.
So we are here at the Oshun Ochubu strike. Hmm. So all the sacrifice prepare that very day. I mean, purposely for the goddess. This is where they will drop it. Here is a suspension bridge in which people also refer to as a Gada Amititi. Amititi. Yes, in Yoruba, because the bridge used to vibrate or shake whenever people are on it. Mm. So, and the bridge was uh, constructed in the year 1935. 1935. Yes. They contributed money. Okay. And gave it to the British Army. Mm. In order to make this a big pressure for them. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you've learned one or two things on this segment about Osho Oshobo. Until next time, when I will be bringing to you new things on culture and tradition, still remain your humble host, Raphael. This is The Switch TV. Thank you.